Hello viewers and welcome to my new video. In today, this is this video is actually part two of analyzing the difference between distro kit and Ditto and actually uh, transferring my tracks from Ditto over to distro kit. Okay, so in part one of, of this video, uh, I basically demonstrated how to upload tracks onto distro kit because the process is to firstly upload tracks onto DistroKit and then remove them from Dito. Okay, so this is the recommendation that DistroKit give. So if you haven't seen that first video, I'm gonna uh, leave a link somewhere either here on the screen or in the description below. So watch that first. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to dive, dive straight in. So I'm just going to show you today how, um, how to remove your tracks from Dito uh, and we're going to go over this. So I'm just going to share my screen with you. All right, so what we've got here now is, this is basically uh, my screen on DistroKit. And I've now uploaded all the tracks uh, from my album and my two singles that I've released through Dito, right? So. Uh, actually, I've already received all the emails, by the way. So that was like the same day I received all the emails. So in terms of like speediness of the process um, from this jockey to say, say that they were all approved, basically. So like on the same day, I, I got an email. Yeah, that's all fine. You know, we've accepted your tracks. Now, in here, when I look here on the on the left hand side it says processing and it and they're all in yellow now just to just to point out this the the album i actually uploaded yesterday and both singles i uploaded today so there's a slight time time delay to difference between the two now the album is here it's called self rediscovery that has eight tracks on it so i don't quite know yet what it actually means, but when I hover over any of these stores, it actually says submitted. So submitted, say to Deezer, submitted to Instagram. So I presume that that means that that those tracks have already been sent to stores in detail language. It would be called sent to stores. So I think if they, if they say they've been submitted, uh, I don't think that means that distro kit are still processing them. I actually think that they've already sent them, pushed them into the stores. So all I'm waiting for now, because they say that it should take up to seven days to actually appear in stores. But they also tell you, once you've uploaded your tracks to DistroKit, the next day, remove your tracks from your other distributor. So this is what I'm going to do now. So yesterday, so let's start from the album. Yesterday I uploaded the album onto DistroKit. And today I'm going to go ahead and remove it from Ditto. So let's see how that goes. So my second page here is my uh, Ditto page, which I've got open. So what you can see here is, let me just, I think this is just still loading, right? Okay, so I've got three releases the same amount of releases as I'm, I've just uploaded to this toolkit. So what you can see here is I have none in progress and I've got three complete, right? So as you can see, they've all been sort of classed as sent to stores. So when I say that I assume that that is the case, uh, it's because, so for example, if I click on, on the latest one, and I, Kind of have a look at this uh, then you can see that there was like in review then approved and sent to stores but i think that that stage where they were in review was going on and on and on and on forever if you remember in that in my first video on this when when i did like the uh, an, an honest review of detail and how much they were taking with, with these processes so i presume that DistroKid have already reviewed and accept because they said to me, yeah, they're all fine. So effectively, I think they've already reviewed and approved and sent them to stores effectively, all right? So let me just find out before I go any further. Um, 
I want to go to frequently asked questions because I don't want to do anything incorrectly. So I'm just going to say um, changing this distributor. So say, say I'm just doing that, you know, sort of live. So you, you'll be able to see what I'm exactly what I'm doing and what the, what the process. Uh, right. So um, removing. How do I cancel my detail account and subscription? How do I remove my release from stores? You can remove your music from stores at any time. If you'd like to take down your release, you can do this via your account dashboard. Simply scroll down to the My Releases sections of your music page, click the drop down menu next to the release you'd like to remove and click take down. So effectively what they're saying, uh, okay, takedowns will usually require between two to four weeks to be removed from all stores. If you if you need a release removed urgently, please, please contact support at detailmusic.com. Thinking of leaving, right? How do I cancel my Dito Music account? And so by canceling your Dito Music account and subscriptions, you, you risk the removal of your releases from all the stores you're releasing on with Dito. You'll also no longer be able to access your Dito dashboard with insights about your royalties and analytics. If you would like still to exit, your contract with Dito Music or would like to discuss the reasons why you're cancelling your account, please send an email. Uh, once your cancellation request has been received, we'll then take down your releases from the stores. Oh, so they say effectively, please remember royalties from some stores may still be reported for up to a year after you have requested a takedown of your releases. So, so it's worth leaving your account with us open until all of your royalties have been reported. You will not be charged for this and are free to leave at any time. Great. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So let's take this down. Um, my dashboard. So let's take these releases down, basically. As I said before, so let's start from I just do the album because I've done the album first with this trocade. So that was yesterday. Take down. Please note that takedowns are not instant and can take up to a month to be completely removed from all stores inside. Take down. Release marked for takedown success. Right, so is that it? So, so effectively, um, that appears to be um, to be it, really. Uh, so that's really interesting. That that was kind of easier than what I thought. So, what I'm going to do now is, um, I'm going to wait um, for firstly for DistroKit to confirm that um, all the stores now have my really like already uploaded and live, and I will also wait for ditto to confirm that my release from them has been taken down uh well i will do the other two releases tomorrow because i only uploaded them to this circuit today so they recommend doing the following day which is fine i'll do that and uh and from there i'm going to do another video uh on how long it actually took the whole process so that will be like a separate video of the series um yeah, and the, and the last video, well, I, th I think the last video would have to be if, when I upload a new release to this, like a brand new fresh release that I've never released through Ditto. And the reason I'm saying this is because, what well, I don't want to happen because these releases are already on the streaming platform. So obviously they're effectively just, I'm just replacing a distributor in the background. So I don't want to be under any false illusion for example, or, or, or sort of false understanding that just because I've, you know, changed the distributor in the background, that it's just 
that that was the sort of real speed at which it happened because I want to know what happens with a new release. So with a new release, when I have it, and I'm actually writing a new single now, or finalizing it, um, I will upload it, but I will give it some weeks. Um, so I'll see how soon it appears. So sort of it's sent to store. It's sent to stores. And then I will be able to hopefully pitch to, to any playlist and things like that. So I will do a video on that as well. Uh, but yeah, uh, other than that, for now, uh, that's it for this video. And uh, thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.